This is hydrogen tap. If you've been following my videos for a while, you'll notice that I've been using this test rig here. It's been around for several months, three or four months. And it's been glued together. As you can see the top here. I use the same glue that I've been working with. It's it's called Plumber's Goop G O O P. I don't usually use name brands, but I've been using this for everything. As you can see, I I really had to work to get this thing off. And you can see it's still really tight. The other thing I'm taking it apart for is to see what happened on the inside. Here's a good view of the units I used to uh, attach the plates. Let's see if we can get a good shot at this. These are battery extensions that go on batteries. And if we turn it upside down, you can see there's absolutely nothing. Nothing wrong with that. And it's been in there for several months, like I said. Here we're looking at the connectors. Get a good view of that. The only thing we have is a slight discoloration on the wires. Those are copper wires in there. As far as the clamp itself, there's nothing because it's made of aluminum. What I'm going to be doing next is taking the plates out, but pretty much you can see the plates. Or as clean as the day I put them in there. These are the same plates I use on the Aaron cell. In order to take this out, I have to empty it. So I'll be back after I empty it. I've got the water out of here. As I said, it was lye. And that's great. Okay. You can see how I've got this in here. So I'm going to have to unclamp this. I'm going to see if I can show you how this worked in here. This goes through it like this. And you can see, hopefully, the other piece that's sanding there on the bottom. It's glued to the bottom. So then this piece goes through it like this. It works pretty nice. I'm kind of proud of this test rig here. And it holds it straight up. But what we're here to find out now is to see if how these plates, the plates that I advertise at least, how they hold up here. And we're going to see that. You're going to see it at the same time I am. So there's been under water, which is lie, for about four months. So if anything's going to show where going to be these plates. If in fact there is any. These are good plates. I haven't had any problem with them. Show you how this works. So there's 
two pieces here like so. These plates went together, one on top of the other, and there you go. Short from that, that's it. That's something, but I guess, I mean, what can you ask for, right? It's been in for four months. That's not rust, that's just garbage from the water. This was lye in there and uh, distilled water. What we're going to do now is take this, see what happens here. And that's, that's the garbage that's on the plate. This is stainless steel plate, so you can see. Once you wipe this off, that's why they call it stainless, huh? There's the worst side of it. This is the, uh, actually, that's not bad either. Actually, this side, there's nothing on it. It's pretty good for uh, four months. Now, one thing we want to take a good look at here. Okay, this is stainless steel. The nuts are stainless steel. This wire here. This copper wire, it's mated to this piece here, which we always said, since it's coated, there's no problem there, and the end is the only thing that's got any discoloration at all. All in all, I'd say this is pretty, pretty good shape. You can see the plates went in between here, and you can see the part that's on the inside. Essentially, it went like this. Well, about like this. And something like that. Anyway, so that held that. All in all, it's looking pretty good. The reason I am getting this, I've took taken this apart, is because I'm getting ready to make some more hydrogen systems, and I'm going to be using this as my checking or test equipment. So you'll be seeing more of it. I'm going to be doing a lot of new tests for the hydrogen and I've got a, a lot of new hydrogen units to show you. This unit's really sturdy.